Hi, my name is Beverly Greenwood van Meerveld, and I am Professor of Physiology at the University of Oklahoma Health Sciences Center and a senior VA career scientist. Hello, my name is Anthony C. Johnson. I am a VA Research Fellow and lead author on our publication in the American Journal of Physiology entitled Visceral Hypersensitivity Induced by Optogenetic Activation of the Amygdala in Conscious Rats. Hopefully, this brief introduction will entice you to take a look at our paper. Irritable bowel syndrome is a functional gastrointestinal disorder characterized by chronic abdominal pain and altered bowel habits. While the etiology of irritable bowel syndrome is unknown, symptoms are exacerbated by emotional stress and there is evidence for disruption of the brain-gut axis. In vivo optogenetics identifies brain circuits controlling behaviors in conscious animals by using light to alter neuronal function and offers a novel tool to study the brain-gut axis. Our experimental goal was to determine whether optogenetics can be used to examine central nociceptive circuits mediating visceral pain using a freely moving rat model. Having previously demonstrated that stress-induced activation of the pathway from the central nucleus of the amygdala to the bed nucleus of the stria terminalis mediated clonic hypersensitivity to distension, our hypothesis for this study was that optogenetic activation of the same circuit would be sufficient to induce clonic hypersensitivity in a non-stressed animal. Using stereotactic surgical procedures, we infected the central nucleus of the amygdala with adenoviral vectors and placed fiber optic cannula at the bed nucleus of the stria terminalis to examine the effect of optogenetic manipulation of the circuit on clonic sensitivity. Eight to ten weeks after surgery, in freely moving rats, a balloon catheter was placed in the colon and laser light was delivered via the fiber optic cannula to determine the effect of activation or inhibition of the amygdala bed nucleus circuit on the response to isobaric colonic extension using a barostat. Using microscopic techniques, we determined if there were any changes in neuronal morphology, neuronal density, or neurochemistry of the infected neurons. We found that adenoviral infection of the central amygdala does not alter neuronal morphology or induce an inflammatory response. Viral expression was localized to the site of the injection and infected fibers were adjacent to the fiber optic cannula. Photoactivation of amygdala fibers in the bed nucleus of the stria terminalis with channel rhodopsin, as shown on the left, induced clonic hypersensitivity, while inhibition of the same fibers with halorhodopsin, shown on the right, did not alter clonic sensitivity. In summary, to our knowledge, we are the first to demonstrate that optogenetic technology can be used as a tool in a freely moving rat model to advance our understanding of visceral pain processing from aberrant brain gut signaling and will lead to significant growth in our understanding of visceral pain associated with the irritable bowel syndrome. Anthony and I would like to acknowledge the funding provided by the Department of Veterans Affairs to support this research and the Medical Media Center of the Oklahoma City VA Medical Center for assistance with production of this video.